So today I really wanted to talk about anxiety. It's something that you can ask people to help you with. Know that you're not alone. Meditation can literally be you sitting here closing your eyes for five minutes. But at some point you start living for yourself. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for being here. And if you've seen some of my videos before, thank you for being here again. For you that don't know me yet, my name is Julia. I live in New York and I've been modeling for the past 10, almost 11 years of my life. And I also recently started my own business, Temple Studio, which is organic lingerie for women. That's what I do in my daily life. So today I really wanted to talk about anxiety because it's something that I personally have experienced for the past eight or nine years, I think. I think my first panic attack was probably nine years ago. This is when I started looking into it more because I was like, what's happening to me? Why Why am I feeling all of, why, why all of a sudden am I feeling all of these things? And I don't know what's going on and I feel like I'm... I'm going to die that made me feel alone because I never heard anyone talk about these things and I really want to talk about it and talk about some tips that help me on a daily basis the first thing that I did when I realized that I had anxiety was that I was trying to understand it and I think that's an important first step in trying to heal your anxiety um, it's important to understand that anxiety is something that completely overtakes your mind and your soul and your body in that moment it doesn't mean that it's gonna last forever but it's also important to understand that anxiety is not just something simple that you experience anxiety is, can be very debilitating it's something that you can ask people to help you with it, it's something that you can acknowledge as okay i'm experiencing this it's not normal but i'm gonna go through it after acknowledging and understanding your anxiety or trying to understand the fact that you have anxiety and that you're experiencing it, I think it's very important to uh, seek professional help. Like, don't hesitate to find a therapist or um, visit your local doctor and seek help and try to talk to people. It's very important that you know that you're not alone and that you don't isolate yourself. Because from my own experience, uh, I can say that I... Um, used to isolate myself in anxiety and not talk to people and explain to people what I was feeling which led me to feel very alone and um, misunderstood in the world in a bit in a way and um, when I started to talk about anxiety with even without talking to a therapist when I start talking about anxiety to people that I know to my friends or my family um, it really comforted me and it helped me to feel less alone, to know that there's people that are there for me. And if you don't have uh, those people around you, or if you don't have the availability to talk to people, a lot of online forums, and there are some um, apps that provide therapy as well. So after speaking to friends and family, I chose to go into therapy and um, seek professional help because it was something that I couldn't live with anymore. I personally um, couldn't leave the house by myself. I didn't, couldn't go to the grocery store by myself, which was very weird for me because my whole career and my whole job of modeling is basically to fly around the world by yourself and go to all these places that you've never been with people that you don't know. And I used to not have any problems with that. But at some point it just got worse and I didn't understand what was going on. and. My whole life just kind of, I completely isolated. I was by myself in the house with my boyfriend and never being able to go out by myself or stay home by myself. And I would say that seeking therapy and going into therapy and seeking professional help is something that was crucial in me healing because there's different techniques that can be used in therapy for, especially if you um, your anxiety stems from PTSD. There are things like EMDR, hypnosis therapy, a lot of different things that can get you to the root of your anxiety. But I think the first step is to start talking to someone. Then after seeking professional help, um, which of course will not be a one day thing where all of a sudden all your problems are fixed. It's something that takes time and something that you need to have patience for for yourself. Um, it can be very frustrating because at some point you're gonna be like I'm so done with this like why am I still feeling like this I'm going I'm doing the therapy I'm talking to people I've acknowledged it like nothing 
in my life is causing me anxiety but i'm still having this anxiety and i'm still experiencing this feeling and i'm still getting panic attacks please give yourself some grace and give yourself some compassion for what you're going through and know that it takes time anxiety basically is the inability of the nervous system to go from fight flight or freeze to rest and digest which means that your body will often be in a stress mode, feeling like it has to run from something or feeling like there's danger around you. Like you start sweating, your heart starts bumping faster, you start shaking and adrenaline starts being created and all because there is a lot of cortisol in your body. Cortisol is the stress hormone of the body that creates that feeling of stress. So for our body to go from a fight, flight or freeze mode when we're experiencing anxiety, to a rest and digest mode is sometimes hard because when you experience anxiety the, there's, an, there's an imbalance of the two so your body will often naturally be in a fight or flight mode which is causing stress and the inability to sleep and insomnia and many different things and because of that with the nervous system there's, there are some things that you can do to relax your nervous system and to help your nervous system relax which is the next thing I'm going to talk about, breathing exercises or pranayama as it's called in yoga. Breathing techniques are very helpful and I personally really enjoy them. Many breathing exercises are very easy to learn and very simple. They don't take too much time. They can literally take from five seconds to however much time you want to do a breathing exercise for, but usually it will take you three minutes to properly be able to relax with a breathing exercise. So there's one breathing exercise that I like to do when I'm feeling some anxiety and when I'm feeling stressed. It's called a parasympathetic sigh. So you breathe in, you breathe in again, and then you exhale through your mouth. I'll show you. So basically, if you calm down your nervous system, as it will give a signal to your brain that your body can relax and that you're safe. I'll also make another video on my channel um, with some breathing exercises that can help you during uh, an anxiety attack or when you're just feeling anxious. So another thing that I did to help heal my anxiety is setting a routine. Having structure in your day or in your mornings or in your nights can give a sense of stability which is the opposite of instability, and instability often gives stress. So having a routine can give you a sense of structure and a sense of peace of mind. So something that I like to do in my mornings is meditation. So meditation doesn't need to be very long, or it doesn't need to be a video that you're following, or, or an audio that you're following. Meditation can literally be you sitting here, closing your eyes for five minutes, setting a five minute timer on your phone, and just witnessing your thoughts and witnessing your breathing and not forcing yourself to breathe a certain way but just to witness life happening inside you and around you this can give you a, a sense of peace of mind and a sense of like mindfulness like you're aware of what's going on and it calms you because there's no distraction something i would also recommend to do is to start your morning slow and to allow yourself time before heading to work or before heading to whatever you're doing for that day so for example if you have to go to work at 7 30 before i would wake up at 7 and shower in 15 minutes get my coffee and run out the door but that doesn't really help because you don't have any time to wake up set your intention for the day and and be there and i know also that it's hard to make time for these things but it's very valuable so if you can i would recommend instead of if you have to leave at 7 30 waking up at 7 wake give yourself 30 minutes more give yourself 30 minutes to wake up lay in your bed and close your eyes for a bit and consciously watch your breathing and start your day slow do some skincare you know just little things it doesn't need to be luxurious or anything like that it just needs to be something that you're doing for yourself giving yourself attention and love and knowing that you're doing this every single day you will start to create a routine which will give you stability and peace of mind and a little bit of extra self-love as well so after another thing that is very important in healing your anxiety which is your mind and your body is to know that the mind and the body are intertwined. They are 
Well, having a healthy diet is very important for our mental health as it affects our body and our body affects our mind. And then exercise as well. It's proven that taking a 30 minute walk can ease anxiety and stress of the body by releasing different hormones. And exercise also gives us endorphins, which is the happy hormone, which makes us feel good. So going for a short run, doing a little bit of lifting or like going on a walk with your friends or by yourself or with your family members or something like that can be very helpful and it can also help you to be outside and get out of your head and realize the world around you. Then number six on my journey to heal anxiety was something very important is that I had to set realistic goals for myself. I am very much of an overachiever and always want to do everything right and maybe sometimes a little bit of a people pleaser which is not something that helps anxiety because setting too many goals for yourself can make you exhausted, which is something very common in people with anxiety because it kind of gets your mind off the anxiety and gives you like, yeah, but I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to go there and then I have to talk to this person. I have to call back that person and then blah, 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 blah. like it can go on and on just for you to not feel your anxiety and I completely get it. At some point you start living for other people more than you start living for yourself and it's important to start setting realistic goals for yourself. Like maybe you're not going to be able to finish this task this week, maybe you're going to have to put it to next week. That's fine. If that gives you less anxiety, you're doing something good for yourself. Of course we have to do the things that come with our job and, and life and um, responsibilities but Try to not over exhaust yourself. Try to set realistic goals. And sometimes it's important to know that whatever we're doing, we're always doing our best. Today or tomorrow. Try to not put an unrealistic task of saying, this week, every single day, I'm gonna meditate for 30 minutes. That's a big change if you weren't doing that before. So try setting small tasks that help you and things that you learn that can help you to heal your anxiety. Don't make it these big, huge things because not doing it in the end will will give you more anxiety and will give you stress and you will likely disappoint yourself and not talk to yourself in the kindest way which is not helping you in the end so then the last thing on the journey to healing anxiety is one of the most important ones it's self-compassion practice self-compassion and recognize that what you're going through is not easy it's not supposed to be easy but that doesn't mean that you can be hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself. We are often the meanest people to ourselves. So give yourself some time, give yourself compassion, give yourself some extra care. Maybe you're gonna take a bath or maybe you're gonna watch your favorite movie with your favorite food and your favorite blanket. But try to not be too hard on yourself. Even on your hard days, if you're disappointed in yourself, try to not be disappointed and just say, today didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I really wanted to do those things, but I had anxiety and I couldn't do them or I messed them up and no, 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 all of this. Give yourself compassion because you tried your best. That's something that I remind myself of often is that I'm always doing my best. I'm trying my best. I tried my best. If one day I couldn't do something, it's not because I didn't want to. It's because I, I couldn't. What would you tell a friend that feels like they disappointed themselves? You would say, it's okay. You're going to be fine. Like, don't worry. Life happens, things happen, and you're gonna be okay, and next time it's gonna go better. Try to talk to yourself like you would talk to your closest friend. So to sum it up, managing anxiety is something that takes time, patience, compassion, people around you, and love for yourself. To conclude this video, I want you to know that you're not alone. There's people out there experiencing something similar to what you are experiencing and i hope that these tips that i gave you um, help you out i know you're doing your best and i know that sometimes it's hard and it feels like it's never ending but it will get better at some point thank you so much for being here today if you haven't already please like and subscribe it really helps and i want you to know that there are people out there that love you and care for you and want the best for you and there is no reason for you to be mean to yourself in your head or be impatient. So let's conquer this anxiety together and get better at loving ourselves and having patience with ourselves. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.